and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. It's been a while since I've shown off my Hoth display. I thought I'd uh, mention a few of the changes that I made. I think the last time I showed it was when I added this probe droid. When I added that probe droid, I decided to turn this turret and probot playset around because this turret was over here and you know it's it's this tall thing and the rest of this area was over there so it was blocking all the figures that could stand there so it was in the way so i just flipped it around and this rebel command center adventure set i decided to take off these that held up the backdrop and i slid it back up against this wall of the shelf and it gave me a little bit more space to work with over here and i could put more figures I can move the Tauntaun over here. So there's a lot more that I could do. That being said, I still have more figures that I could add to my Hoth display. One of the figures I have for my Hoth display is the Saga Collection Major Bren Derlin, which includes an exclusive hologram figure. This came out in... 2006. So at this time, these figures were released. Chewbacca, Boba Fett, General Veers, At-At Driver, R2-D2, Snow Trooper, General Reekin, Darth Vader, and a Power Droid. And here's the exclusive hologram figure. I remember getting this figure in 2010. At that time, I wasn't taking figures out of the card or out of the bubble. This is a huge bubble. Look at this, all this plastic. Sheesh. But now it's time to release him from the bubble. First, the hologram which looks like a rebel trooper with the rebel symbol on the bottom. Major Bren Derlin. All right, with a stand. Excellent. Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. That would be nice if like figures in the vintage collection, they included stands. All right, look at that mustache. Awesome. Nice movement in the head, and it looks like it has an open holster. Does he turn at the waist? Yes, he does. Bend at the knees? No. Feet? No. Okay, he's got the rubber band. Let's see. Is this a good rubber band, or is it degraded? It's degraded. Turns here. That's cool. I like that. But I want to get the rubber band off. But does he hold the gun well? Because General Reekin didn't. Yeah, he doesn't hold it very well either. That's not good. Look at that. It was right out. I like the detail. Bottom part slides a little bit. Nice detail on the gun. Does it fit well in the holster? It's all right. And the stand. That was cool back in the day that Hasbro provided stands so you can put these figures nicely on display. I'm going to read a little bit about Major Bren Derlin. I like to do that. I like to learn more about these characters. Bren Derlin was a male human officer of the Alliance to Restore the Republic. He joined the Alliance military after his father, anti-imperial Senator Galen Derlin, was assassinated by agents of the Galactic Emperor. Showing his talent, Bren Derlin became a captain and served during the Battle of Raltir. His heroic actions saving lives during the evacuation of Ninten merited him a new promotion, and Major Derlin served both in Alliance Intelligence and as the Operations and Security Chief at the Alliance headquarters on the planet Hoth Echo Base, under the command of General Carlos Reekin. Derlin, in his post, gave the hardest orders in his life by closing the base door, risking the lives of two valuable rebels who he himself considered his friends to avoid putting the whole base in risk. Soon after this event, Derlin served during the Battle of Hoth. A year later, 
Alliance General Han Solo asked Major Derlin to gather a commando team of Hoth veterans for a dangerous yet vital raid on an Imperial bunker on Endor. This would give the Alliance fleet a chance to fight the Empire during the Battle of Endor. Derlin was the planet level unit leader during the operation and while his team was captured, they made use of a diversion to obtain a victory. During the years of the New Republic, Derlin worked with New Republic intelligence opposing crime lord Torel Vorn on Rius 6. Derlin was then promoted to colonel and, during the Thrawn campaign, managed a difficult operation to mislead the forces of the Empire, while Admiral Gael Akbar and General Crix Maydeen staged a raid to the well-protected Bill Bringy, Derlin moved starships to pretend that the New Republic was really targeting Tangreen. Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn was not fooled by this maneuver. Derlin became a brigadier and then retired from active services. By 16 ABY, Derlin was the commander of the Alliance Veterans Victory Association, a retirees club that hoped to become active in reserve. I'm going to move this figure, this bulky figure, way back here. And then I'm going to put Brent Derlin over here. All right, that's Major Brent Derlin now in the Hoth display. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You could also follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook. See you on the next Star Wars Obsessed.